And now to one of the most influential figures in the battle for gender and civil rights in America, but you likely have never heard of Pauli Murray, an activist, a writer, a priest, and a lawyer. And a new Amazon documentary takes a look at Pauli's remarkable life. Here's a sneak peek. My name is Pauli Murray, and my field of concentration has been human rights. My whole personal history has been a struggle to meet standards of excellence in a society which has been dominated by the ideas that blacks were inherently inferior to whites and women were inherently inferior to men. We are joined now by Betsy West and Julie Cohen, Oscar-nominated directors of RBG and the forces behind the new Amazon documentary, My Name is Pauli Murray. Welcome to you both. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having us here. So before we dive deeper into who Pauli Murray was, I want to take a moment to address something that you do explore in this documentary, which is Pauli's gender identity. Pauli was born female, but in many of the documents and writings that Pauli left behind, Pauli talked about whether or not that is truly the gender that Pauli identifies with. How do you navigate this in your film, and what do you think is the best way for us to refer to Pauli Murray in a way that truly honors Pauli's gender identity? Yeah, this is something that we discussed quite a bit because it was a private struggle for Polly Murray in the 1930s and 40s. Uh, Polly was writing to doctors saying, people think I'm a woman, but I really believe I'm a man. And yet Polly never wrote about this uh, publicly. And certainly there was no language at the time, just no understanding of someone who might be non-binary. So uh, in looking at Polly's extraordinary life, we thought it was important that we also talk to people in the LGBT community today to consider, you know, how should we refer to Polly Murray? And Julie, next question for you. Polly Murray was certainly a person of many firsts, the first African-American to graduate from Yale Law with a doctorate, the first black deputy attorney general of California, and the first black woman ever to be ordained within the Episcopal Church. And yet Polly Murray is largely left out of many history books. How did you become interested in Polly's remarkable legacy and what can we do to better highlight it? Yeah, we became aware of Pauli Murray actually doing our project on Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, when Justice Ginsburg had been a lawyer, uh, she put Pauli's name as a co-author on a brief in the first gender equality case that RBG argued for the Supreme Court because uh, RBG was rightly pointing out that uh, Pauli Murray had been ahead of the curve on the idea that the 14th Amendment could be used to secure women's rights, women's equality under the law, not only racial equality under the law. Highlighting it seems like a process that should be should be happening. It's actually beginning to uh, bubble up, and we wanted this film to be, to be part of that uh, larger project about this conversation on Pauli Murray. And, and Betsy, Julie just mentioned this, but want to take this to you. The late Supreme Court Justice, as she just mentioned, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, credited Pauli Murray with laying the foundation for her fight on, on gender rights, saying, we were not inventing something new. We were saying the same things that Pauli had said years earlier at a time when society was not prepared to listen. How would you describe the importance of Pauli's work in laying that foundation for today's gender and civil rights in this country? You know, it was foundational. I think it's hard sometimes for people today to remember what the world was like in the 1960s and in the 70s when Ruth Bader Ginsburg started to make the arguments uh, about uh, winning equality for American women. It was just taken for granted that women had a second class, or sometimes they would call it a protected status, but it certainly wasn't an equal status. And it led to just a lot of uh, unfairness, something that Ruth Bader Ginsburg helped to change. But using Pauli's argument about the 14th Amendment, the Equal Protection Clause, that it should apply to women. You know, I just want to circle back to how do we refer to Polly Murray to finish that up? You know, we refer to Polly often by Polly's uh, chosen name, Polly, uh, born Anna Pauline, Polly like Polly. And, uh, you know, we don't know if Polly were here, if Polly would want to be called she or her or they or even he. And so often in conversation, uh, Julie and I will refer to Polly as Polly. Right.
the obvious choice to just go by yeah. <laughs> uh, her birth given name. And, and Julie, one of the remarkable things about this documentary is that it's actually narrated by Pauli uh, Murray. And Pauli kept not just personal journals, but also voice recordings and videos. How did Pauli's own voice guide the narrative of this film? Um, hugely is the, is the short answer to that. We were so lucky that Polly had saved this incredible collection, not only 141 boxes of papers um, of, of an archive, but also more than 40 hours of audio tape recording. Um, in, in addition to that, a recording of Polly's autobiography, Song in a Weary Throat, and a few videos that we found um, as well. And basically listening through those tapes was kind of step one of putting this project together. What were Polly's words that were recorded um, and which ones were so powerful that they felt like they began to provide um, a, a narrative for this film. We often talk about the idea of these hidden figures, and we really thank you guys for, for shining a light on Pauly Murray. Betsy West, Julie Cohn, we thank you so much for joining us tonight, and you can stream My Name is Pauly Murray now on Amazon Prime Video. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.